Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this evening I'm going to film a QA. and a um, I've got a spare like 10 minutes so I thought I'd quickly film something. So I've tried to get the best lighting that I can. Um, I apologise if it is a little bit dark um, and I'm having to keep my voice down again like I said for the children being in bed. I've got my cup of tea and I've got my questions of some of you lovely people and yeah I'm just gonna get stuck in I haven't prepared any answers so I'm sorry if I ramble a little bit um, but I just thought I'd quickly try and film this while I've got some spare time so my first question is from Lauren Sharp and she said how many kids do you want or are you happy with two and if you could live anywhere where would it be and why so I'm quite happy with my two right now um, I don't know about future children, they might be on the cards, who knows, but I'm very very happy with the two that I have right now and whatever will be, will be. I think it would like drastically change the family dynamic if we were to have another one, so it would be a decision that wouldn't be made very lightly. And if you could live anywhere, where would you live and why? I think I'd probably move closer back to my mum, like not back like exactly into Blackpool and that area but just a little bit closer or I'd live like completely opposite to what I've just said and I'd go to somewhere in America like because I just love like the I think it's more of like an idealistic view that I have of America I think realistically I probably wouldn't like it very much um just because I think it could be quite a scary place to live, especially at the minute. But just the way they celebrate things like Halloween and Christmas, like I just love how over the top everything is there. Stephanie Daniels asks, what are your YouTube goals? Um, so my main goal at the minute is to reach 400 subscribers by the end of this month and I'm creeping ever closer, so who knows, I might get there. Um, my end of year goal was 500 subscribers, so we'll see. Long term, I just want to keep making videos that I enjoy really. I just want to make more content that I can look back on and be proud of. More videos of the children so I can watch back over them like when I'm old and be like, oh, I miss the days my children were small. Kristen asks, do you want more kids? So I've just answered that one. Why did you start YouTube? and what is your advice for someone who wants to start YouTube? So I started YouTube mainly just to have memories to look back on of Livy, like while she was little. Um, I started when she was about, how old was she? She was just over two, nearly two and a half, um, and she was going through such a cute stage that I just wanted to capture everything like I literally could just film her all day every day because she was just so adorable I mean she still is adorable as you've seen um but yeah that was mainly why, why I started it um and I think my advice to someone who's starting YouTube would just be yourself just make videos that you're going to enjoy watching and um make memories for yourself like just film your everyday life because especially if you've got children like days just pass by in a blur so it's nice to look back sometimes and remember what you got up to and just the funny little quirks that they do. Okay Roxanne asks how long have you been doing YouTube for and what have you learned so far? So I started in 2014. I went at a steady pace for a couple of months, fell out of doing it, got back into doing it and then fell back out doing it and then I started again in March this year and um, when Toby was little and then I just fell out of doing it again but then I've like been consistently uploading now since September and I've just seemed to have got my spark back for it now I'm loving making videos again um and what I've learned so far probably is just to be yourself like don't focus on the numbers don't focus on the views just make videos and be yourself just if you're enjoying doing it enjoy doing it and don't be so hard on yourself like if you want to take a break then take a break don't feel like you're going to let anyone down Cheryl asks how did you come up with the name of your channel quite simple um one of my favorite books is the perks of being a wallflower um and I wanted something that just rolled off the tongue so I went with that and um, we used to be the Gem and Livy show but obviously then I had Toby so that didn't fit anymore um 
and I, I spent ages deliberating over whether to actually use the perks of being a mother um, and now that I've been using it for a while like I love it and I wouldn't change it. Samantha asked what do you miss being able to do now you're a mum? I think I just miss the spontaneity of being able to just be like oh let's go out for tea let's just go here go there and just not having to worry about changing bags and if you've got everything and then obviously we don't have family around here so we would have to get babysitters in which we've never done really we've had a babysitter once I think um, that hasn't been a family member yeah so I just miss just being able to do stuff for just for the sake of it really that that's the only thing I miss. Lucy asked what is your must-have beauty product at the minute? So I think my must-have at the minute, oh, I'm going to say my Body Shop Vitamin C scrub because while the weather's how it is at the minute and it's quite dry, like my skin has been getting really, really dry, um, so I need something that will exfoliate it but not be too harsh, so I've been using that a lot. Um, I think I'm going to film like a skincare routine video soon, so I'll go through all the products I use then. Charlie Meads asks, where do you see yourself in five years and your three, your top three mum must-haves? So, where do I see myself in five years? Hopefully doing better with my channel, um, hopefully finishing my college course, because I have signed up for one. I've just got to check. Um funding and that first and make sure that I'm actually eligible um I don't know just maybe traveling more spending more time with the children like making memories with them I'm not I'm not asking for anything flash like I just want to be comfortable and happy and have he healthy children and your top three mum must have items so if you were asking me like mum must have items for babies Muslin cloths because they just get you for everything. They can be a bib, they can be a burp cloth. They even fashion like into little bottoms if they have an accident and you've nothing else with you. A makeshift nappy if you forget one. Um, what else would I say? Tea. That is definitely a must have item. As a mum, it's all I seem to live on at the minute. I swear 90% of my body is made up of tea. Comfortable shoes, definitely, because you're just going to be running around all the time. You, you've not got time for shoes that are uncomfortable. Converse are my go-to, definitely. And maybe for a baby, again, something that we've found really useful is you and the dream sheep. Like, that has been a godsend. That used to be the only thing that in the middle of the night, like, would send him back off to sleep. And it still works now. If you're asking me more for, like, Livy's age, so she's five now... I'd say plenty of snacks in your bag because they are always hungry. Make sure you stock your purse up with pound coins because those little machines that are at like soft play and in the shopping centre, oh, it's so much easier just to let them have one than have a meltdown. I know you shouldn't, but it's just so much easier. And a tablet. Like we have the Leap Pad for Livy and then I've got my Amazon Kindle. She doesn't go on them very often, but they are a lifesaver for those moments where you just need like five minutes peace and you need to calm them down and focus their energy on something else. Laura Steer asked, if you became rich and didn't have to work, what would you do? See, if I became rich, I'd probably... Hmm. The first thing I would do would be to buy my mum a house and move her closer to me um, because... I just miss her an unreal amount, like, I hate living so far away from her. I'd put money into bank accounts for the children for when they're older. Um, I'd probably take Livy on a bit of a shopping spree around Toys R Us and let her pick what she wants. Probably go to Next and Zara and buy Toby every single piece of item of clothing that I'm lusting at. And then I don't know, I probably would give some to charity, like help family members out. And then I'd save most of it because I'd still want to like do something with my time. I'd probably like open a business of some sort. Emma asked, where would you love to travel with your children and what is on your bucket list? Um, I think I'd love to just take the children to 
all sorts of places but places that are quite educational so France to see the museums I'd love to take them to Italy like just anywhere really I just love to take them on holiday Um, we've only ever been on holiday in the UK so and I've only ever been on holiday in the UK I've never been abroad so it would be lovely to like take them somewhere and like submerge ourselves in the culture for a bit and what is on your bucket list so my number one thing on my bucket list is to see the northern lights that is just something I've always wanted to do everyone who knows me knows that that's what I want to do like if if I saw the northern lights I could die happy. Jess asked, what is your favourite Yankee Candle fragrance? My favourite one is Black Cherry, closely followed by Sugared Apple. And I had a bit of a freak out moment when I was in town the other week because Sugared Apple had been retired and I was like, oh, I'm never gonna get it again, ever. And then I found it in a shop, so I think they've brought it back. So I'm so happy with that. So that's all the questions for now. Um, I don't know if this was too long or too short, I don't know. I really enjoyed doing it. I love doing these kinds of videos. It's nice just to sit down with a cup of tea, to be honest. So yeah, if there's anything else you want to know, do leave it in the comments below and I'll keep them all together for one side and then I'll maybe do another one of these videos soon. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Um, it's free to do and like I said, I'm trying to get to 400 subscribers. Um, so yeah, it would mean a lot to me if you did that. And be sure to check out my next Vlogtober video tomorrow. Bye!